Multiply with 7. The distributive property. 6, 7, or 8 are often the hardest to remember. Here's a great place to apply the distributive property. What is this? The distributive property says that you can express one factor as a sum of its parts. Then you can multiply each part by the other factor and find the sum of the partial products. Let's try using the distributive property to find 6 times 7. Break 7 apart into 2 plus 5. Multiply each add end by 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 5 is 30. So, 6 times 7 is 12 plus 30. That's 42. Let's try 7 times 8. Break 7 apart into 2 plus 5. Multiply each add end by 8. Put the parts together again. 16 plus 40 is 56. So 7 times 8 is 56. Let's try 7 times 7. Pull apart 7 into 2 plus 5. Multiply each add end by the other factor. That's 2 times 7 and 5 times 7. 2 times 7 is 14, 5 times 7 is 35. Put the parts together again. 14 and 35 is 49. So 7 times 7 is 49. Good job!